Good evening, everybody. I'm Pierre Roberge, the Daily Trader. It is August 4th, and we are going to take a look at Tesla stock from a technical analysis perspective. My goal in doing these videos is to help you understand how you can use technical analysis to make better trading and investing decisions. But I'm not a financial advisor, so please do your research and make your own decisions. So Tesla is uh, still up a little bit, so up $3.71, uh, that's 0.40%. Closed at 925.90. Post market, we are up by $1.80. Let's look at what we have here on the chart. So we have a red candle today. So it just means that we opened a little bit higher than where we closed. We have a wick at the bottom. We have a pretty much the same length of wick at the top. This is showing a little bit of indecision. So the stock does not really know what to do. And I can understand a little bit because we are now into this third type of channel. We have one channel right here. We have a second channel right here. And we have a third channel right here. And now we have a collision. This is the resistance of the second channel. And this is the support of the third channel. The stock is going to have to make a decision whether it breaks this support and then continues within this second channel. So the stock is going to have to make a decision very soon because the two lines are very close and the stock, the stock is stuck. This is what's happening right here. Let's go see the one hour chart. So on the one hour chart, the first hour of the day was right here. So we opened higher than our 9.30 resistance that was in place since uh, August 1st. So we have not been able to cross for a significant amount of time above that. We opened higher, but then we crossed below. That resistance right here is still very valid. And let me give you the exact number. Yeah, that's 929.47, but let's say that 930 is good enough. So 930 is still a very important resistance. We cannot break above that and close above that. So nobody wants to pay above the 930. This is what this means. Because the sellers are always willing to sell super high, but, it, but they need the buyers. And there's no sellers. We could also say that there's no sellers, that there are no sellers that want to sell below 930. Basically, we are staying below 930 and getting very close to it. The second hour came down, but then came back up. Then we have a few candles with some wicks at the bottom here showing that the stock is going down, but the buyers are pushing it off, are pushing it higher and higher. And we are also, we are also still above this big support right here. This big support. This is the third channel support that I showed on the daily chart. So we are still maintaining ourselves above that. Right here, we are bouncing and we are bouncing here. And our 21-day exponential moving average is also maintaining everything quite well. So basically, we have entered into this congestion zone between 9.30 and, let me tell you here, 9.12. Between 9.30 and 9.12, we are just in this congestion zone. And we are going to have tonight at 5.30 Eastern time, I think, or Pacific time, I'm not sure. So the Tesla shareholder meeting where some shareholders will be able to ask Elon some questions. So we could be having some interesting news that are coming out of this meeting. So maybe this is going to impact the Tesla stock tomorrow. Looking at the daily chart, looking at the indicators. So stochastic at 94, everything is great. That the next target for a Tesla could be in this range right here. So 1083, 1072, if we maintain this speed right here. If we don't and maintain this second bull channel, instead we are talking about 1071 to 1057. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing. If you like what I do, you can become a YouTube member. Click on my Trading View affiliate link. I'm going to wish you a great evening. We are going to talk tomorrow and I'm going to tell you à la prochaine.